Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Whole time, I got to say this. I won't even go talk about it, but I feel like I need to talk about it real quick. It's a little it's a little selfish, but damn it, we here now. Y'all peep my Los Angeles Sparkle jersey. NECA, NECA Guma K, you feel me? And I got my Diana Taurasi one, too. I, ooh, I just got it. And then I got my Brittany Griner one on the way with the Natasha Howard jump coming in. And I'm happy that this one came in. Because my Sparks is playing the Mystics. That's right. Me and my boy Jabari are going to be out there watching the game. You know what I mean? Something slight near courtside. You might see us on the screen. So um, I just had to throw that out there, that little plug in there before we talk about uh, some NBA. But now that we got the WNBA situation, we won't talk about that no more. Uh, fellas, how's everybody doing? And I got to start it off with Jabari and Nick since y'all have come on to the show for the first time i greatly do appreciate that fellas and then emitab you know you've been on the show a couple of times so you know we we've seen you before welcome again but uh jabari how's everything going with you oh man everything's good man thank you for having me on the show i'm really excited to be here and chop it up with y'all boys now i appreciate you joining brother i appreciate you joining nick hey ladies and gentlemen i just got to say listen nick can get a little bucket himself on the court i've actually seen him all right he not bad Okay, got a couple little nicknames out there on the court. When you got a nickname, that means you actually mean something on the court. I'm just letting you know that. So I, I'm out here saying he can book you a little bit. But um, I, I'm I'm still rooting for my boy Chris. We got to beat y'all at some point in time, Nick, man. But how's everything else going with you? Um, I'm doing great. Uh, first of all, thank you listeners out there. Get you somebody who's going to compliment you like Trey just did. Because <laughs> he, he is, is the greatest comment, even though it's a downright lie. Man. And I am listen there's bad and then there's like i didn't know you existed bad i am that level <laughs> i appreciate nah, you nah. Right? Here, here, the positive here, path, but here, here's the thing though here, here's the thing though like i and i'm so pissed off because i've recorded three of your games nick and like so like i've watched three times you play and every time you were consistent like are you like a superstar studded scorer no but like are you a consistent player who who, who is honestly y'all second best player yeah like I, I I felt comfortable saying that on your team. So again, and I'm I'm so pissed that I do not have the footage to back it up. But there was three instances. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. I promise y'all, because I had it all recorded. But not I, I it's not cap. It's not cap. Because it was it was that 24 hour too, where you was getting a little boogie woogie out there. So I, I yeah, not I got got I got to tip my cap to you. Tell I appreciate that. Hey, I ain't seen you hoop, man. I ain't seen you hooping. You've been ducking. You've been it's ducking. been a while, man. It's been a while. No, we got to get out there, you know. All right, that's, I'm gonna hold you to it. It's recorded. I'm letting you know that it's recorded. Yeah, I gotta come out there and show show y'all boys a little something, something myself, man. I was trying to spare you since you was a first time with Jabari. You don't want them problems. <laughs> I see you got on pit. Listen, don't make me sit up here and bring out my Blue Devils. You know how we do on get a bucket. That's right. We got them championships. Didn't we, didn't we beat y'all last time though? This year, I'm bringing up old shit for like what you bringing up this old year. Shit for? This like, year, what you bring old, <laughs> the new season, it's a new season. We got a whole ring old though. It's coming in like wait, wait, wait. But isn't the ring old? Why are you bringing up old stuff for, bro? That's <laughs> all right, all right, I, all right. I ain't got my Duke stuff on right now. This is <laughs> all right, all right, man. You know, you know, it's H2P till we die out here, man. <laughs> I see it's gonna be a little. I see it could get a little spicy on the episode today. So we gotta, we just go ahead and get right on into it. Normally, I do try to get a little gab trivia. But I think we just go ahead and get right on into the episode because it sounds like it's going to be a good one. So then we got here the Miami Heat. All right. Nick, this brother Tyler Hero, he got into a little tricky situation with the Heat because they're trying to get Damian Lillard. They can't get Damian Lillard. Do you think Tyler Hero and the Heat can remain on the same page? Because, I mean, it is a business. But we know these athletes got egos. They sometimes divas. And he's also young, too, so he might be a little emotional. Like, what's your thoughts? You think we can repair this, 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 this you know, tricky situation if they don't get Dame or no? Uh, um, I So, first off, I would I would love to just point out that, of course, you're asking me about Tyler Hero. Uh, but, I'm um, asking everybody the question. Like, what's your question? No, no. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I can, I can, I won't avoid you. No, um, for real. Um, 
the Heat have done a really good job throughout this entire process of not specifically naming Hero as a guy that they're throwing into there. We all assumed because that's their sort of their not untouchable player, their best not untouchable player, yeah. and a guy they can trade for him. Um, and uh, he's the guy who's going to make this whole trade work mm. um, in terms of salary as well. So we have all sort of come to the conclusion that, of course, Tyler Hero is going to be included in any package, but the Heat have done a really good job of not saying that out loud. Um, and so I think Hero Hero has had some reports. He's sort of told people that, yeah, I'm not going to be playing in Miami because I'm going to get traded to Portland. He sort of has put two and two together. He's not, you know, he wasn't born yesterday either. Um, so he he understands it, but I don't think it's one of those things where they've damaged the reputation or the, or the relationship. Um, I think if this doesn't end up turn around he, hero will be perfectly happy to go back to miami i mean who wouldn't it's miami okay yeah no that's true that's true it's just from a standpoint of of like trying to trade him I, i'm just thinking you know if i'm we all know we're gonna try to he he's he gonna be in the trade um unless unless somehow they finesse portland which i hope not but if you know if he's in that trade talks maybe he liked Miami again it's Miami who want to really leave except for someone like Braun I guess like Jabari what's your what, what's your thoughts on Tyler Hero and the Miami Heat do you agree with Nick where it's not a the situation isn't really like you know it's not it's it's fixable it's not really an issue right now yeah I don't I don't think it'll have any even if he even if it doesn't go through mm -hmm. I, I don't think it'll have any long lasting um you know hard feelings cuz I think everyone You'll see those people who get who are younger who do get a little emotional, but at the end of the day, every athlete does kind of come to that conclusion that it is a business mm -hmm. and that you know you being emotional and it kind of letting letting it rack you up like that, it's gonna start to affect your game. And nobody got time for that, especially when you're getting paid that much money. No, nah, that's real. That's real. Okay, okay. Um Chris, Tap, did y'all do y'all kind of share the same sentiments as Jabari and Nick, or do y'all have anything different that y'all wanted to add? Uh, I'm on the same page with as Jabari and Nick. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tap, how about you? No, nah, I think he'll be all right. Uh, even if he doesn't get moved, he'll be back in Miami. He'll be fine. Okay, all right. That's fair, that's fair. But now, nah, uh, fellas, I greatly do appreciate this, though. Uh, we definitely got to do this again. I apologize, too, for having to go as long as it did. I tried to keep it between an hour, an hour and a half, hour and a half being the longest. So I do apologize. But uh, do you have anything? Do you guys have anything you want to say before we close up shop? All right. Well, look, I greatly appreciate all of y'all for coming on, taking the time out of y'all busy day. Um, and, you know, like, Jabari, I'll see you on sunday uh it's, yeah sunday um chris i'll see you whenever you get back you know nick probably on saturday or sun or, or monday for hoops temp um i possibly might crash on friday i don't know i'll hit you up though but like <laughs> but yeah i'll talk to y'all boys later i greatly appreciate this though definitely y'all see them again sometime on the show too what'd you say i said i appreciate you having me on oh not a problem not a problem but with that, we'll all take care. So hope you all have a good one. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. That's a bet. All right. I'll... Oh, I did not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here,